And somebody who knows our troops so well. This is one of our favorite. He sang to us last year. I think we can get him to do it again this year. Um, one of the great, great patriots out there. And in fact, his song became a theme song during Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And when our guys came home, they were listening to this huge hit of his, Tie a Yellow Ribbon Bound, the Old Oak Tree. And I can tell you and I do so much with the troops. This man, I think there is probably no greater patriot out there who gives back, who supports our troops, and who does events every year for the troops. And let's bring in the unbelievable, <laughs> amazing, our dear friend, the wonderful Tony Orlando Woo! is with us. Tony, <laughs> how are you, Tony? We're so happy to have you here. Well, once again this year, I'm proud to be part of the Truth of Fun with you, Rita, and all of you who are serving our country in a way that's so important, taking care of the awareness of what our troops need, post-war experience, their children, their families, God bless you, Rita, for all the work that you do. I, I can't keep up with you. You're constantly doing something to raise money and raise awareness for vets. Hey, you are, Tony, you are really, you are really something special. Oh, love you, she Tony. She is. She is one of the most special people oh. I know, and she's worked tirelessly on behalf of our That's troops. True. But can I just say something, Tony? Because um, this is Melanie, by the way. Uh, I was Hi, driving. Melanie. Hi. Hi, Melanie. It's really nice to meet you, at least if it's even in the virtual world. I uh, was driving up from San Francisco, where I live, to Sacramento yesterday, and I had Sirius XM radio on. And it was so exciting because I heard you and Cousin Brucey oh, wow. talking wow. about the history of the, all the songs that you sing and perform over the years. And I was riveted. I mean, I could not, I had to stop the car and just pull over by the side of the road so I wouldn't miss anything. I had no well. idea. Uh, some of your background, you actually worked for Clive Davis when, when things sort of dried up for you at one point in your yeah, career. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I ran the music division for Clive proudly for four years at CBS. And at 23 years old, with my eighth grade education, I ended up as one of his vice presidents. What a country, as someone once said. <laughs> you know, it's been a wonderful journey for me that continues on, Melanie. Thank you. And and everybody, we are talking to the great, great Tony Orlando, one of the great patriots out there, and I think one of the most amazing singers in the world. By the way, he's also a chairman and spokesman for Snowball Express, and that helps children of the fallen, and that works with American Airlines. Also hosted the 40th reunion of the POWs, and that was at the Nixon Library. That was a huge, huge event. You know, Tony, uh, so yes. many people listening out there, and you, you know, you talk to the veterans, you talk to the active duty, You've been out there in some of these remote places, as Melanie and I have, Tony. What do you want to say to folks listening about how they can do their part? Because this is really a unique day where we want to try to, of course, raise as much awareness and, of course, as much money as possible to help send these great care packages, Tony. Well, you know, Rita, the truth of the matter is we are brothers and sisters in this country, and the best way to show our family-like attitude towards our servicemen and women is to help them mm through whatever they need to get through, whether it be helping the children of the fallen find someday a scholarship, a father to, to help replace the male figure or mother, to help replace the mother figure in their lives, to hug them, to kiss them, mm -hmm. to show the veteran that they, you know, when they put the, this is the first volunteer army uh, in military since the Civil War. Every one of these in the last 15 years, men and women who serve our country, did it because they want to. Now, we, as a country, only show our biggest muscle by using our heart muscle to raise money and awareness to take care of post-traumatic pressures that and cause suicides daily in our country. We have to take this serious. You know, for 33 years, Rita, I co-hosted the telephone with Jerry Lewis, and I can tell you that I watched genetic science change the world because of those telephones. There would have been no genetic science if it wasn't for the NDA telephone, and that's the truth. Well, the same thing goes for what you're doing right now. If we can continue to pressure our people in government to make sure, like, Gus Galarakis is a friend of mine, the congressman, who is vice chairman at the VA hospitals in Washington and of all of the VA's veterans administration. He is working tirelessly 
I know I talk to him about making the life of the veteran better as they enter each hospital, nursing care, doctor care. And those of us who are in the, in the public, like you are, Melanie, like you are, like I've been blessed to be, our role is to try and unite people in gathering together. Absolutely. An emphasis of, of pride to give to our veterans. Absolutely. And well, we are so blessed to have your efforts out front and center. The great Tony Orlando. Tony, we love you. Thank you for being with us. We know how busy you are. I love you. Thank you. I love you. I can talk on this forever. I'm hoping I didn't talk too much. But no, I never. We love I hearing love you from guys you. what you're doing. And thank you. God bless America. And God bless you all. Tony, we love you. Thank you dearly. And everybody, that was the great Tony Orlando. You can hear that. You couldn't miss that great, great voice. And everybody, please make sure that you give right now. Whatever you can do to help, it's 844-2-TROOPS, 844-2-TROOPS to get to sponsor a care package.